Today I'm in a county that's often referred to as the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution. And no surprise, because it's also home to this, Britain's only inland electrically powered funicular railway, which dates to the end of the 19th century. So I've got my ticket. Let's escape to the country. In today's show, I'll be helping one family escape the confines of city living for a grand country lifestyle. <gasps> is that part of this? That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but will they be able to contain their excitement? Oh, my word. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, how fantastic. And today's mystery house is a real first, and it comes as quite a surprise. Oh, it, isn't. it is a mystery oh. nation, isn't it? <laughs> it is. You're kidding. <laughs> now, if, like me, you're a fan of the Industrial Revolution, then Shropshire is a great county in which to start your search. It's home, of course, to the lovely Ironbridge Gorge, but also this, the funicular railway here at Bridge North. Now, back in its day when it was built in 1892, it was powered by an ingenious system utilising over 30,000 gallons of water. These days... It's electric, it's still working, and it's a wonderful way to get a good taste of what Shropshire has to offer. On the border of Wales, Shropshire is England's largest landlocked county. Within its 1,346 square miles are some of the UK's most beautiful rural landscapes. The fertile expanses of the North Shropshire Plains are largely given over to agriculture, whilst in contrast, the south is made up of lush hills and valleys, and a quarter of the county is designated an area of outstanding natural beauty. Just as appealing is the medieval county town of Shrewsbury. It's a haven for historians and architects alike, with a whopping 600 listed buildings. With so much history right on the doorstep, it shouldn't come as any surprise that Shropshire has a plethora of character properties on offer, and there's plenty of space once you get here. Now, it's a little-known fact, but Shropshire, as it happens, is one of the most sparsely populated counties in the UK. To put that in real terms, per square mile, there are 65% less people living here than anywhere else in England. But property prices are pretty much the national norm. Your average four-bed detached will set you back around about £250,000. So if all that has whetted your appetite for a slice of rural Shropshire, well, here's a taste of some properties that are on the market right now. For the regal price of £1.35 million, you could be the proud owner of this nine-bedroom, Grade 2 listed Elizabethan mansion just outside Bridge North. The two reception rooms are fit for a queen. You could throw a banquet in this bang up to date kitchen and with 17 acres of land, there's plenty of space for a garden party. For a slightly more modest sum of 650,000, how about a slice of Shropshire's industrial heritage with this 18th century four bedroomed water mill near Ludlow. The mill machinery has been sympathetically restored so you can put your friends to work in the spacious living room and cosy dining room or just sit back in the sunny conservatory and gardens. If you want to downsize your budget but not your living space, at £400,000, this 17th century four-bedroom cottage in Cheswardine could be ideal. The large farmhouse-style kitchen and spacious dining room ooze character and the cosy living room is a real winter warmer. So as you can see, Shropshire really does offer some fantastic properties, which is exactly why today's buyers have decided to make it their home. David and Sarah live in Dudley in the West Midlands. They share their four-bedroom house with Sarah's daughters from a previous marriage, 15-year-old Emily and the twins Charlotte and Alice. But a rural lifestyle has been on the cards for some time. Dave was brought up in the country. He was, he's come from Norfolk. I'm a city girl, but I always dreamed of living in the country ever since I was a little girl. With the girls' education to consider, they currently attend a good school in Wolverhampton and would ideally like to stay there, so the location will be key. The type of area we'd love to move to would be between Wolverhampton and Bridge North, the Shropshire side. The location we are looking for is on the outskirts of a village, not something too remote. 
Sarah and the girls only moved in with David two years ago, so this move will be their very first property bought together. It's time to move on, really, and get our house, Fresh new start. Our house together. So what do they have in mind for their new home? There's five of us that live in this house, so this kitchen really isn't big enough for what I need. In our new property, I would like a breakfast area, somewhere where we can put a table and chairs. One of my biggest issues is sharing a, a house with four women is obviously in the mornings. Getting a shower time is uh, a nightmare. And in our new property, I would love the opportunity to have an ensuite or possibly a building on one. I currently have my utility area in the garage. And as you can see, it's not really working out for me. So I would really like to have a utility room or somewhere to put all my laundry in the new property. And once they make the move to the country, David and Sarah know exactly how they'll be spending their time. My golf, fishing. And I'd like to go on our long walks and family picnics in the country. But before we start homing in on new properties, we've invited a local agent to value their current home. This is a really nice four-bedroom detached house in a nice quiet cul-de-sac location in a popular area, so I'd value this house at £270,000. And on top of that, David and Sarah want to put a bit extra towards their new home. Our budget for the new property will be £380,000. Now, perhaps it's no surprise that when we meet our buyers for the first time on Escape to the Country, we make huge numbers of notes. These are just some of those relating to the wants, the likes and the dislikes of David and Sarah. Distilling these down into an easy package can be tricky, but in this case, I don't think it's going to be that difficult. What they require is fairly straightforward. At least three bedrooms, ideally four. Sarah wants a nice big country kitchen, somewhere for the laundry. David would like a bit of a workshop and, poor chap, his own ensuite bathroom. The question is, can we get that for £380,000? Let's see. Easy access to Wolverhampton is high on David and Sarah's wish list, but by extending the property search a little further afield, to include the countryside around Ludlow, I think we stand a good chance of finding just what they're looking for. We'll be viewing some fantastic family homes, but as usual, I won't be revealing how much they cost until after they've had a good look around. And there's a real twist with today's mystery house. It might just make their dreams come true. Well, Sarah, David, here we are yeah. in Shropshire. Now, normally I would say to you, welcome to this lovely part of the world, but this is your neck of the woods, isn't it? That's right. It is. That's right. Yeah. Now, whose fault is it that you're on Escape for the Country? Mine, I'm afraid. Dave. It was a good idea at the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope it stays a good idea. <laughs> yes. We've got some very interesting properties for you to look at, but let's have a think about your budget. Technically, 380. Yep. Mm -hmm. But you've been looking a little bit over that. 420. 420, that's with a house that's done. But 380, not a bad figure for what you're trying to achieve, which, it has to be said, in some ways is fairly straightforward. Nice house in a village, fairly close to where you live at the moment, but obviously you want country, not That's town. Right. But, my goodness me, have we got a lot to fit in? Not only you two, but your three lovely daughters as well. Oh, yes. Well, we could leave them there, I suppose. And, and <laughs> I don't think they'd like that. No. Well, you've come to the right place. We've got some wonderful properties for you to look at in an area you know well and you know it's lovely and beautiful around here. Yeah. So, um, shall we? Yes, yeah. please. Let's jump in. So David and Sarah have a maximum budget of £420,000. Their must-haves include three to four bedrooms, a spacious kitchen diner for Sarah, and for David, an office and an all-important ensuite bathroom so he can jump the shower queue. Now, the two twins are Alice and Charlotte. That's right. And Emily is 15. That's right. Schooling for them is obviously all important for the next sort of five years or so. Yes. How would you feel if they moved school? I would... Well, I, I would be quite disappointed, really, but if we don't move now, I don't think we ever will move, and... The country is the place we want to go to. And I'm sure they will settle in, in the new school. So I don't, I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. 
I'm glad to hear Sarah is open-minded, as the first property we're heading to is in Diddlebury. Situated between Bridge North and Ludlow, it's an hour's drive from Wolverhampton and the girls' current school. But I'm hoping this pretty village location will make up for the compromise. Situated in the heart of the Corve Dale, the River Corve runs right through this typical Shropshire village. There are a few pubs and shops, but if that's all a bit too quiet, then historic Ludlow is just a 20-minute drive away, with its boutique shops and some of the best restaurants in Britain. Right then, well, let's begin, shall we? Property number one. Oh, I... I it's cosy, isn't it? I cozy. love it. I like, like where it is. I like the location. It just doesn't look massive. It looks... That's right. ..quite small. Ah, well, just you wait and see, because in there is a little world mm. all of its own. Shall we go and see what we can find? Yes. Carry on. This 18th century stone and brick barn was converted 12 years ago. Although attached on both sides, it's deceptively roomy. Well, let's have a look at the kitchen, because I know that's okay. really important to you, Sarah. You want something nice and big... Yes. ..and light. Yes. Oh. Not unlike this one, probably. Very... <laughs> it's nice space, nice space. It's lovely. I like the sink, where it is. Yeah. Looking yeah. down the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We'll explore that oh, a bit later. Yeah. But... I mean, certainly big enough for a very handsome table in here... Yeah. ..to get all five of you around it. It's kind yeah. of crying out for, I yes. think, a nice big range yeah. cooker. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Take two of those units out, redo the worktops... Yeah. ..nice big That's double it. range gas in there. Absolutely. That's what I'd like to do. But, you know, so far, so good. Good space. Absolutely. Good space. Perfect for me, this is. Good. Yeah. Well, let's yeah. see what you think of the rest of it, cos the space goes on through here. Next door is a separate dining room. Although the barn is unfurnished, I'm hoping David and Sarah will be able to see how it can work for them. This is the living room. <gasps> oh, nice. Very nice. Very oh, good size. It's fantastic. Lovely shape. Love Ooh, that shape. I see the fire. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Wood burner there for you? Beautiful. Well being. And the ceilings are high as well, even yes. though you've got those. Yeah. The beams. That's what, I was, that's what I'm after. Beams, but head height. And if that wasn't enough, there's also a conservatory and a study just next door. I think the space and character of this barn might be winning them over. Now, I think it's kind of up here, Dave, that the whole barn style, the architecture of this building, really comes to the fore. These uh, banisters, effectively, are... What used to be in the old barn? Oh, Probably okay. old hay racks or something. Can you see them? Oh. All that. Uh, it's all, different, isn't it? All, all cut in. There's that huge, great big uh, stone mm. lintel there. Oh, yeah. yeah. And can you see that door there? Oh, yeah. yeah. On this floor, there's a family bathroom and three of four bedrooms. So, plenty of space for everyone. Well, now. Or oh, do you want this wow. as a study, mate? I, mean, I think. I think <laughs> yeah. I think this is you. <laughs> I tell you what, you'd work really quickly in here. Do you want to get out? <laughs> yeah. It's a nice size, nice. though. I like the views, though. Yeah. I like the views, yes. Well, there are plenty more views yeah. in Europe, in the Master. Oh. Oh. Come and look at this. Back across the landing. Now then, this is you. I think. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Good size. Yeah. Huge. Good Absolutely. size, yeah. Absolutely. Much bigger than what we've got yeah. at home. Three aspect windows. Well, yeah. I can wake up in the morning, I could, I, could, I could deal with that. That's good. Now, there was something that really struck me about um, your plight, as it were. I'm looking over there, to be truthful. Yeah, because in there, <laughs> that's you. Go on, check it out. This is, this is, this is your little spot. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Corner bath. <laughs> it's without the shower, <laughs> but that's, I think I'll keep that. We I mean, I think the point is... Dave, you know, you could very easily put in a nice big oh, wet yeah. room. Yeah, so we're going to have sort of size. gents written on the door. Exactly, and a big padlock. <laughs> <laughs> if they're this excited by the interior, then I think the garden is going to make a real splash. Right then, out here, what have we got for you? Oh, this is lovely. Yeah? Just this a nice is ideal. size. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. All you've got to do is mow it, prune a few bushes. Yeah. Not, Not quite big enough to have the sit-on mower I want, but apart from that, that's, that's ideal. No, you, seriously. You can't have a small garden and a ride. No, that's right. <laughs> keep, hitting, keep hitting the walls. Exactly. Though. But there is one other little bonus to this place, and it's that thing. 
<gasps> is that part of this? That yeah. is it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Oh, now the girls would just... See? Oh. I must admit, ball. when I walked out here, I, I thought, thought that, that was, was next, next door. door. Yeah. I know, that's why that's I kept it good. quiet. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. That's a bonus. That's yeah. a bonus. Thank that's you. an extra bonus, yeah. All right, Didn't then. Expect that one. We've got a nice bonus in the pool. We've got a garden that's manageable. We've got some big reception rooms. We've got bedrooms aplenty mm. and a huge kitchen. Mm. How much is it worth? I'm going to say 400. I'll stretch it to 420. Three. Ooh. Oh, that's better. Nine five. Oh. That's not bad. That's oh. not bad. Go and have a look inside, check it out, see if you can all fit in, okay. and I'll catch up with you later. Thank okay. you. Thank <laughs> you. Brilliant. Well, there we are, £395,000. Certainly well within the range of possibilities, financially speaking, and in terms of size, it really does tick all of their boxes. This barn conversion is £25,000 under their top budget, and with four bedrooms, including David's all-important ensuite, an office, a huge kitchen and separate dining room, there's all the space they've asked for, and then some. For our next house, we're heading just over the border into Worcestershire, near to the village of Clibbury Mortimer. Known as the gateway to Shropshire, it's also just a 30-minute drive into Wolverhampton, so the good news is that the girls won't have to change school. Despite being a town of 2,000 people, Clibbury Mortimer has a distinctly village feel. Most famous for its church's crooked spire, it's also home to a great mix of Tudor, Georgian and Victorian buildings. And with all its quaint shops and eateries, this won't be too much of a culture shock for our Dudley dwellers. Situated in rolling countryside just on the edge of the wire forest, this four-bed detached character cottage dates back to the 1800s, but in recent years has undergone a facelift. Well, you wanted a view. Oh, that's what I call a view. Lovely. That's, oh, look. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah? Oh, it's gorgeous. This is your little garden down here, or part of it. Well, do. <laughs> we'll explore that a little more later, but uh, give us an idea. And the approach is quite nice. You've got this long gravel drive, so it's quite secluded. And the property, as you can see, is kind of nestled in this little sort of yeah. dell, as it were. Beautiful. It looks apart so far. Yeah, you've got some brownie points here. So far. So far, so <laughs> good. That's what I like to hear. But will the smaller dimensions inside this typical cottage be quite so impressive? Right. Now, this is going to be one of the things. Yeah. The height, David, for you. Well, let's see how we go, because it's... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. You're not... You're not... It's used to it. I'm not touching it yet. <laughs> <laughs> the current owners are really making the most of the space here by using the hallway as a dining area. A little bit unusual, but with the knock-through alcove to the kitchen, it almost has an open-plan feel. But it's the living room at the end of the hall that I think will make a big impression. Oh, See already. Oh, this is that's, beautiful. That's no. Lovely fireplace. Really oh, we've nice. We've got a raised roof. Yeah. Look. Actually, yeah. yeah. It's gone uphill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is a nice beautiful. room. I mean, this is the core of the old original cottage. Hence, you've got the beams, uh, you've got the fireplace, and, you know, getting more I views. I was going to say. Plenty of space for the family to lounge around in here, but, of course, high on Sarah's criteria is a bigger kitchen. Will this one make the grade? So, this is it. Not as big a kitchen as we've had. No, but there is still space for a table. Yeah, yeah. Big enough, yes. Big enough view. Look at that. Oh, breakfast. that's Look. good. Oh, that's beautiful. Now, the other thing, open that door. Oh, look. <gasps> oh, <laughs> there's your utility. Oh, there you go. That's perfect. With a view. Isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Good. Great. Yeah? Happy? Yeah. yeah. Now, I mean, as I say, you've got, you know, that. that's it. All right, really, in terms of the kitchen. We're after more space. And I'm trying to think, is this actually giving us. More space, but it's cosier space, do you mm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, think it, I think something could be done with it. It's confusing the hell out of me, to be truthful. <laughs> well, let's see if we can resolve that confusion upstairs, because that will, I'm sure, have a bearing on everything. And it's right. this way. Come with me. On the first floor, there are two single bedrooms for the girls, but a much bigger master bedroom next door. In you go. Oh, that's... Oh, yes, yes. <gasps> 
Gosh, that's, that's lovely. Bad, it? Huge. Yeah? I don't see something that I uh, Very desperately nice. need. Do I? No. <laughs> <laughs> but look is, at the window. There is no ensuite. But again, there is an uh, ensuite yeah. view. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He says desperately trying yes. to find something to take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, no one's Very sweet, but nice. you do get that picture. The good news is that the family bathroom is next door. Just next door, good. And there is a bit more space upstairs again. Oh. Possibly. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Have a look at that. Good. Yeah, mm. there's more. The entire attic has been converted into living space, and I think this could be the solution to the ensuite problem downstairs. Now, do watch your heads there. Oh. All right. Now, what about this? <laughs> yeah? This is a good bit of space, isn't it? You could consider this as um, a master floor and mm -hmm. do something with an ensuite oh, arrangement. Sweet. You might need to, you know, pick the roof up a bit or something like that. But I mean, not a, not a cheap job, to be fair. But you could achieve, you know, a master ensuite up yeah. here. I can see something here. Yeah. Yeah. Very okay. intriguing. Well, you do want some space to have some fun in as well, don't you, mate? Oh yeah. Nice little Boise workshop. Oh, oh yeah. A man <laughs> after my own yeah. heart. Let's go outside and see what we can find you. Come on. Oh right. And okay. watch your head. Watch your head. <laughs> Oh, look, the sun's come out. Oh. <laughs> Hurrah! <laughs> so you've got loads of kind of options here with seating and enjoying the view and so forth. Yeah. In terms of the garden, and I know you're not, you know, hugely keen gardeners, I think this is probably more of a just keeping on top of it kind of garden rather than you having to do anything major. But in terms of workshops, we've got this. There we are. Have a look at Don't that. step backwards. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Gives me somewhere to come out of the... Why? <laughs> yeah, I could do some things in here. We always joke about, you know, the, the man in his shed. But with you, surrounded by this lot... You've got to have <laughs> it. It's called a retreat. <laughs> <laughs> so what will be the price of some peace and quiet for David? Let's have a think about what this is going to cost you. I'm going to go down to 350. 350? Oh, no. I was going to say 350. Oh. 350 says you, 350 says you. Yeah. Says I. 369950. Mm. Mm. Well, that's not hundred, that's not miles out. And I think it's worth showing you this because it gives you an idea of what you're up against with the property market in this part of the world. But are you shocked by that? I'm not personally. No. But... I think that the location is perfect, so I think you have to pay a little bit more for that as well. Well, go and have a good look around, see what you might do with it. I know it will require some element of redesign to make it work for you as a family, but who knows? Go on. OK, okay. Thank See if you can fall in love with it a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we are, just under budget, 10 grand under budget, but is that enough of a saving to turn this place into the country residence of their dreams? <laughs> With an asking price of just under 370,000, Sarah and David would have the money spare to make any necessary changes. The cottage may only have three bedrooms, but the attic space is ripe for conversion. The kitchen is a tad small, but Sarah gets her utility room and David gets his workshop. I'm just not convinced they can see themselves living here. Well, what an exciting day yesterday was. There's no doubt we have at least one property on the list as a real contender. But today is our final day of house hunting with Dave and with Sarah. Our next property is much closer to Wolverhampton. That should please Sarah. And as for the experience that is the mystery house, well, even by our standards, this one really is like no other. We're heading to Claverley in East Shropshire for our next property. Halfway between Wolverhampton and Bridge North, the location should be spot on as this is their preferred area. Claverley comes with historic charm and tranquility in equal measure. Dominated by the village church, there are also a few pubs and architecture from just about every era. Better news still, Wolverhampton is just nine miles away and can be reached by bus. Well, here we are, beginning of slightly rainy <laughs> last day of house hunting. <laughs> And what about that? Oh. That's getting there, that's impressive. It looks impressive. really yeah, like fantastic. That. Before it tips it down, come on, let's okay, get inside. Thank you. 
This 18th century cottage is full of character and surprises. It's been beautifully renovated and I have a feeling the interior will impress just as much as the outside. Right, come on in. Oh, <laughs> in you come. Oh. Look. Oh, fireplace. Yeah. Oh, I absolutely. Wooden oh, floor. gosh. This is your principal living room. It's, it's really the old two rooms of the old two up, two down, knocked through to provide uh, not just a fireplace at that end, but also one at that end, because through those little doors there is the fireplace, which goes through to another room through here. The other side of that original fireplace is in the spacious dining room, but I know it's space in the kitchen that Sarah really wants. I hope 18 feet will be enough to satisfy her. Come and have a look in here. This is the kitchen. Oh, gosh. Pink fridge. Oh, it's fantastic. Love it. It's pretty wild, isn't it? Oh, very nice. Very nice. It works, I isn't like it? This. And I oh, like the, the sink. Yeah, but yeah, you've got a nice sink. big butler sink yeah. there. And very much a kind of kitchen diner. Yeah. 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 Perfect. And there's enough space. Mm. Good. It Good is. Size. It's a nice sized kitchen, a nice shape. Yeah. Mm. I mean, space is the key thing with these, these oh, yeah. you know, rampaging <laughs> girls around yeah. the place, mate. I mean, uh, I do feel for you. Where's the shed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, far enough away that you'll be all right, don't worry. Well, when we came into the kitchen, I said this place was full of surprises. There is one down here, Dave, which I think is all about you, mate. See that white door? Get away from that. Go on. Oh, my word. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, how fantastic. What about oh, it? Oh, that's beautiful. That oh, is that's... lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? That's what I call a shower. Right. Yeah. It's a proper oh, waterfall shower, yeah. isn't it? Wet room. Yes. Oh, my word. Oh, it's fantastic. And, of course, you've got a bath. Don't look at the bath. Look. Oh. Roll top bath. Well, the surprises continue. That's I've nice. got one for you. Come through here. Oh, <laughs> Back through what might be your kitchen, Sarah. Who knows? Yes. And there's another little door over here. Have a look at this. <laughs> oh, there's a room. How about that? Here. Oh, yes. God, it's huge. A famous study. Big enough for a bedroom. It is big enough for a bedroom. That is one of the things you may have to consider with these downstairs mm. rooms because one of them will probably have to go okay. to be a bedroom. But, right. of course, you've got the bathroom down here as well. Yes. But it's Certainly. Like, it's, it's good, isn't it? It's big enough for a bedroom, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Huge. Yeah. Huge yeah. Wood single falls. bedroom. Yeah. Still made an ideal study, wouldn't it? I can see, <laughs> I can see mate, the fight <laughs> is going to go on. Do you often win the no. arguments? No. I like I, to say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, we've had uh, two surprises so far. They come in threes. There's one more. Come and have a look at this. Right, now, one of the things about old cottages, of course, is that they do have, occasionally, old storage space in them. This place is no exception. Come with me, have a look at this. It goes on and on. Try that. Go on, open it. Pull the latch off at the oh, top. I was wondering what this yeah, was. Yeah, big, big cupboard. <gasps> <laughs> oh, <look at> that. <laughs> God. Isn't it great? Conservatory. That's clever. God, oh, that's, that's clever. It. Isn't it? That's weird. That yeah, it's good. Yeah. The downstairs definitely delivers on size, and I'm glad they love it as much as they do, because upstairs compromises will have to be made. There are just two bedrooms for the girls. And this is the master. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, oh! It's small. It is quite uh, small. It's quite yeah. cosy, though. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is where it, the house, if it has any challenges, reveals them. Mm. But this okay. is what a cottage is about, isn't it? To well, be that's fair. the thing. I mean, and well said, Dave, because that is it. I mean, you yeah. you, you kind of can't have one without the other. Good chandelier. You do. <laughs> yeah, just don't get out of bed in a hurry. <laughs> you'll, you'll do some serious damage with that, I should think. The lack of ensuite doesn't seem to be a deterrent, and at least the family bathroom right next door is amply sized. Just stopped raining. <laughs> Hooray! Lovely, yeah. 
So yeah. you get the idea that this is really deceptive, don't you? It is deceptive. It goes on forever. The garden is at the front of the house, but it's still secluded, and there's a double garage and workshop for David. So let's have a think about the money, shall we? Rough estimate, 365. Oh, that's, that's what I'd like. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you'd like? Yeah. What do you think it's worth, though? Getting up towards 390. 390? Oh, I would go for quite a bit more than that. I would say about 410. It's on the market. Only recently on the market for 425. Are you shocked by that? 425. Disappointed more than shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Go in there and make your own mental map of how it, how it works and see if it will work for you okay. as a family. Okay. Thank Go on you. Then. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't get lost. <laughs> With an asking price of £425,000, this is £5,000 over their maximum spend. However, there should be room for negotiation. Downstairs, this charming cottage has all the space they've asked for. A big kitchen diner, two reception rooms, plus the added bonus of a secret conservatory. But I'm not sure they'll be willing to compromise on three small bedrooms upstairs. Well, at long last, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. It is, of course, time to reveal the mystery house to David and to Sarah. But I have to confess, I really do not think they are expecting what we are about to show them. And I can't wait to see their reactions. Now, Sarah and David aren't strangers to Shropshire, and on a previous visit, quite recently, they fell in love with the outside of a cottage that they saw for sale, but never had the opportunity to look around inside. And what, what was special about the house? What, what made it sort of capture your imagination? Through what we've been looking for, I think this... this without being inside, obviously, ticked every box we had. Mm. What Sarah and David don't know is that we're heading to the tiny hamlet of Nash to take a look at that very same cottage. Situated in the southeast of the county, it's 36 miles from Wolverhampton, so not necessarily their ideal location, but will it turn out to be their ideal home? Nash itself is a very quiet rural hamlet surrounded by beautiful countryside. For a bit more action, David and Sarah can pop over the border to Tenbury Wells, where things could get romantic as it's the mistletoe capital of the UK. There are plenty of shops and restaurants and some very interesting architecture, like these Victorian Chinese Gothic pump rooms. But it's finally time to reveal the mystery house, what they think could be their dream home. Is this it? This is it. This is yeah. it. This is what... Uh, all the fuss has been about. All the fuss has been about. <laughs> I mean, we can't get in, but no. we could have a proper look. Should we get out? Come on, why not? We only live once, don't we? Lovely. Come on. Let's see what we can see. <laughs> Hope nobody's in. <laughs> I'm enjoying this too much, but I'll string them along just a little more. It's not really what I had in mind to show you. Oh. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, it, it, the mystery has... It's very different to that. Well, you but never we did know. say we were open minded, didn't we? Yes, we we're very open minded. -minded. Well, how open minded <laughs> are you, I wonder? <laughs> <laughs> because we've been having you along all the time. This is the mystery <laughs> house! <laughs> how about it? <laughs> it is the mystery house! <laughs> it is, isn't it? It is! You're kidding. <laughs> I just know. This is the it is the mystery. Come it in, come on. I'm going to show you. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> on paper, this 17th century cottage has nearly everything they've asked for. I just hope the reality will live up to their expectations. Right then. <laughs> Now's your chance to have a good look around in here. Oh. This is your dining area. Oh. Oh, look. that. Quite quaint, isn't it? Yeah, it's doing it for me. Oh, yes, it's like doing that. it for me. So we picked Dying a good room. one. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You should take over from me. <laughs> well, the dining room has got a hot reaction, but I know Sarah wants a bigger kitchen, and this one might not measure up. Oh. Oh, yes. That's nice. Yeah? It's yes. quite, quite small. But... It is not the huge farmhouse kitchen no. that you may have dreamt of. However, 
the possibility of extending this has been explored by the current owners. So the idea is that you'd probably go that way right. and that way a bit, yeah. potentially. And you would benefit from the views dropping away yeah. Yeah. that you yeah. peaked to look at when you came yeah. here yes. months ago. And you've got a little bit of a diner. Lovely. It's working for me. Yes, we could have our breakfast there, couldn't we? <laughs> it's working for me. I, I love like it when it. people say that. I do. I really like it. I mean, kept this a secret from you for so long. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fantastic. Fingers crossed. Right, oh. go on, lead on, okay. Dave. Next door is the first of two sitting rooms, and this is the smallest one. So you've got a little bit of extra space in here, oh. something of a sort of a sun garden room. gallery, yeah. really. <laughs> and then you've got this little tiny room in here, which, if, if the living room next door... <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's bad. That girls' the room? What size of this? Girls' room, your yeah, room? Yeah, yeah, I feel a bit... Tearful myself. <laughs> I just can't get over it. I think it. we're working well. He oh, isn't. We <laughs> are. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, yes, I might get you to pick They're all my houses good. in the future. <laughs> you know, this is exceptional. It is. Downstairs is a cellar which could make a great workshop or laundry room. And I'm sure upstairs won't be a letdown either. The three girls get a double bedroom each. They'll just have to fight it out as to which one they want. Although I get the feeling it could be this one. So there's plenty of room for all the kids. But how about you? Ooh. This would be your master. Oh, that's yep. great. Yeah? Yes, that is gorgeous. Yeah. But... Oh, oh, it's not in there. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's done it again. Not the biggest Very in the world, good. but <gasps> no, it'll do me. That's what I want. The girls will have the use of their own pretty bathroom next door, and outside there's a huge lawn garden. So Sarah could get a couple of sheep if she really wants to live the good life. Oh, this is lovely. Now, in terms of the garden, what you see is what you get. Uh, very easy to keep on top of. This is a good excuse for a ride-on. This is a ride-on mower job, isn't it? Come yeah. on. Boys' toys. Yep, I've been trying to get one of them for years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now that you've had a chance to explore it inside, how does it compare to what you perhaps had dreamt of? I think it's better, personally. Definitely. It, it's everything that I wanted, expected, I suppose. <laughs> Do you remember how much this was? Uh, yes. Go on. Three nine nine nine, three nine, nine fifty. Yes, three <laughs> nine 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 fifty. To be precise. Yeah. But let's put it this way: if we had a bite on this, we'll find the money. You know. And you can always lend us some because we found this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got this right. Okay, I'm going to get my checkbook out there. <laughs> good. All right. Well, look, we've got a bit of time left. Go and have a good old look around, and I'll tear you away later. Okay. And thank you for giving us this opportunity mm. to look round it. That's what we're here Thank for. That's you. our pleasure. Off you go. <laughs> well, there we are. I have to say that in terms of escape to the country, this really is quite an historic moment. And as house tours go, well, for my money, it's one of the best. With an asking price just short of £400,000, this is 20000 under their top budget. And it has loads of living and sleeping space. There is also the possibility to extend the kitchen and the setting is hard to beat. Well, Mystery House was my ideal dream house. This is how I imagined my house to be. It was perfect. It's, it's a really room. nice size, you know, isn't it? Yeah, lovely farm. The kitchen is quite small, but you have to compromise somewhere, and I, d I don't mind compromising in the kitchen. To me, without trying to give too much away, it's about perfect. My ideal house. The house, the grounds, the views, Fishing. Perfect for what we want, isn't oh, yeah. it? And you've even I got think. a church in the back garden. Gorgeous. And that must be where the lake is down the bottom there, look. Yeah. And see from Hello! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about it then? I think it's beautiful. You can see for miles, can't beautiful. you? Beautiful. You sure can. Yeah. Maybe you can see for miles for many years to come oh. if you buy it. Who knows? I'd like to think so. <laughs> yeah? Oh, yeah. That would be nice. All right, come on. I'm going to drag you away because uh, you've got a lot to think about. I know this is <laughs> clearly a contender, uh, but I suspect um, there are one or two others that you should really give some proper thought to as well mm. out of all the houses we've shown you. So let's go and uh, 
Think about it. Okay. Okay. Our journey is almost at an end. Sarah and David have now seen all of our properties and have liked aspects of each of them, so who knows which way their decision will go. Well, there's no doubt that David and Sarah absolutely fell in love with the mystery house, but now the excitement is over. The cold, hard reality of thinking about all that they have seen is upon them. Buying a house is not to be entered into lightly. It is, after all, a very expensive process. So let's catch up with them and see if they've made a decision. Well, I don't know about you two, but I'm absolutely worn out with this. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How have you found it? Very interesting. Very interesting. Eye-opening. It started with the barn conversion in the courtyard yeah. that initially, I know, Dave, you weren't 100% taken with. No. It didn't appeal to me because it's joined both sides and, and as soon as you walk through the door, it changes. So, yes, it's learned me to have an open mind. Let's, let's go there. Mm. Very nice. The proportions to that barn suited me down to the ground. I, mean, I certainly got the feeling that it was a contender I think it was a very good contender. So then we went yep. to that little white cottage on the hill. The approach to the property was absolutely gorgeous. It, it really was. And the views going up the drive. But it, 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 was, it was when we went in the front yeah. door, really. I could tell it wasn't going to be big enough for all of us. Even the, despite the fact the lovely living room... That, that was probably the best feature, I would yeah. say. That was the end of day one. Yeah. Then we slept on it and we wake up ready for our final day of house hunting, where we took you to somewhere a little closer to home, mm. a bit more in your comfort zone, nearer yeah. to Wolverhampton. Yeah. That little red brick cottage with the blue front door and the garden and the drive and the workshop and a whole host of surprises. The downstairs, fantastic. Really yeah. great. Upstairs was perhaps a little too small. Very higgledy-piggledy, wasn't it? <laughs> the amount of stairs was great. <laughs> I, th I loved that. <laughs> it's a cottage, isn't it? Yeah. That was, uh, the, that was the thing about it. Maybe the bedrooms were a little bit tight, but... Could have done with an extra bedroom yeah. up there. I mean, the thing is, you were so enthusiastic about all of the properties <laughs> that yeah. we showed you. It was hard to know, really, which one you might land on, if any of them. But there was probably no doubt, I'm sure, <laughs> for anybody watching this, as to what occurred when we pitched up at the mystery Very house. Clever. Very mm. clever. Mm. Did you have no idea? No. Seriously. Absolutely Seriously. none whatsoever. To me, there was nothing to do with the place. It was lovely. The floors were... I'm trying to find a fault here, yeah. but I can't. But, I mean, the bedrooms, go upstairs to the bedrooms, all ideal size. And it's a house I feel the girls would love. Mm. I mean, we fell in love with it. The only thing we have spoke about that, you know, to extend the kitchen out a little bit, but mm -hmm. even when you went out the garden, look back, it wouldn't be a hard job. No. So, you know, it, it, everything falls into place. There is no surprise, clearly, <laughs> <laughs> as to which house uh, you are clearly interested in. Are you going to move fast? We have to go back and talk about financing. I would love to make an offer. Thank you very much coming on board with us and I'm delighted that we've been able to uh, to find you your dream home. Oh. And thank you yeah. very much. Thank you very much. It's been we've wonderful. enjoyed it. Really have. You know, it's often tempting to think that escape to the country is all about changing people's lives, but you know, I think it's much more subtle than that. To my mind, it's about enabling people to change their own lives while throwing in a few tasty options along the way and just once ever so often we get to make dreams come true that's exactly what we've done for david and for sarah and i have to say i am absolutely chuffed to bits shropshire they just love it and great news david and sarah have had their offer accepted on the mystery house and are just waiting to move in <laughs> <laughs>